All right, we're gonna look at a word problem, so applying quadratic equations here. So a widescreen TV has a diagonal measure of 42 inches. The width of the screen is 16 inches more than the height. Determine the dimensions of the screen to the nearest tenth of an inch. Okay, so you've got a rectangular screen here. The diagonal would be this distance right here that I drew in. So that's 42 inches. The width of the screen is 16 inches more than the height. So we'll call the, this the height, and we'll call this height plus 16. So it's height, it's this distance plus 16. All right, determine the dimensions of the screen. So if you take a look here, we've got actually a triangle here, and of course this is a right triangle because it's a rectangular shape. So we can use Pythagoras theory to help us. So c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared because it allows us to get an equation. We need an equation if we're gonna solve for our variables. So we're plugging in 42 squared equals h squared plus h plus 16 squared. So that needs to be in brackets. Okay, this would be a calculator question. So if you need to grab your calculator, pause the video. All right, so 42 squared, you'd use your calculator, will give you 1764. You need to expand this. So what that means is you're going to write it out twice so that we can use that FOIL method to multiply it. So h times h is uh, h squared. Outside is 16h. Inside is 16h. So we're going to get 32h. 16 times 16, 256. Okay, combine like terms. And I'm also at the same time going to um, move the one seven, this over to this side, so I'm gonna subtract. Okay, so that I have zero on this side, h squared plus h squared is two h squared plus 32 h, and then 256 minus 1764 is gonna give me negative 1508. Okay, right, now I'm going to group these two terms together and zero will equal two h squared plus 16h plus blank minus 1508. In the brackets here, we have a nice even number. So this actually, even though it's larger numbers, you've got your calculator, it's gonna be a little easier. We don't have a fraction here. So 16 over two is eight, eight squared. So we're gonna have 64 here, which means you minus 64 times by two. Zero equals two h, both signs are positive, so plus square root 64 is 8 squared. So again, you have your calculator for this, but you're going to go negative 15, 8 minus the 64 times 2, and you're going to get minus 1636. Okay, all of that was just completing the square and coming, coming up with our equation, of course. Now we're going to solve, so move 1636 to the other side. We're going to divide by 2. Nice even numbers here again, so that's great. And we get this. Now we must square root both sides. So this is plus or minus the square root of 818 equals h plus 8. Now you're going to move 8 to the other side by subtracting. So height is equal to negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 818. And now that's the exact value, which is great. But the question says determine the um, screen to the nearest tenth of an inch. So we need to put this as decimals. Plus we don't wanna know one of them might be a negative answer. We can't have two answers here. So here's a situation you need your approximate values. So H would equal to negative eight plus the square root of 818. And I don't need to worry about simplifying this. If you were thinking, oh, I need to find perfect square factors. It's, you don't need to on a word problem here. If you're asked for the approximate values, we're just gonna put all this into the calculator anyway. Okay, so grab your calculators. You can pause the video while you put this in your calculator to make sure you know how to do that. So once you do that, you're gonna get 20.6 something, and the negative one was negative 36.6. Now in terms of um, what you're finding is H, this is the height. So you can't have a negative height, so you're gonna reject negative height, or just say reject is fine. So your height, is h is 20.6 inches. Your length is h plus 16. So that would mean 20.6 plus 16. So your length would be 36.6 inches. So that's your length. Just so it's clear that is equal to L, that is equal to your height.